Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Cast Patrol podcast. Joined as always by Mick and unfortunately no age this week. No age this week. He's at his girlfriend's birthday. Yes, and we did make an exception that you can miss the podcast if it's your significant other's, other's birthday. birthday. It's the only exception. Yeah. Maybe, That's I don't know what else happens on a Tuesday night. For it not, to be that special. Not much happens on a Tuesday. What about Melbourne Cup Day? What are we going to do about that? Yeah, we still record at night, can't we? Yeah, but we can come in your piece. Yeah, mate. Yeah, might have to... That um, might be rough. Might have to do the day after. Yeah. Or we'll we do a Monday show, do a Melbourne Cup preview. Yes, I don't mind. Well, we got seven aside though on Mondays. Oh, God. <laughs> there's too much on. <laughs> there's a lot there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot happening, but... um. Yeah, no, so yeah, no age, so you're stuck with me and Mick. Yeah, and if we sound different, it's probably because we got a new setup. We bought uh, the proper Roadcaster Pro setup. Yes. Um, done by a lot of uh, podcasters. Yep. And we're like, you know what, we'll give it a crack. So if we sound shit, let us know, but we're still learning. This is our first one with it, and we don't have age. Yeah. Not that age does anything anyway, but. Exactly. But, um, yeah, no, proper setup. You know what came, you did do, though? Came on time. What? I. So speaking about coming on time, Aiden didn't come on time because he's not here at all. No, he didn't. But he sent us a message. He did. To let us know why he's not here. Let me hear it. I'll let you hear it. All right, here you go. Hey, guys. Age here. Unfortunately, as you know, I can't be on the <laughs> podcast today. It's my girlfriend's birthday. Happy birthday to Sophia. We're going to type a tong in Newtown, which should be good. Um, good luck with putting up with Mick and Jimmy. It's going to be an earful, but I'm sure they'll do a good job. And, yeah, I'm ready to cop all the abuse for dogging the potty, but I'll take it. Happy wife, happy life, guys. Enjoy. Is that happy life, happy life at the end? Happy wife, happy life. So he's married. He's married. Ah, oh, that makes sense. He proposed to her. A type of tong in Newtown. Yeah, he got, he loves that joint, eh? He loves it. <laughs> I've never been. Is it good? Nah, it's pretty good. What's it called? Type of tong. Type of tong. We've, that, we've spoken about it before on this podcast. they got so many levels there as well. What do you mean Class, levels? Like, like in terms of like where you can eat. It's like oh. it's massive. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like got some cool like pop culture in there, like Transformers, like made out of recyclable materials. Oh, it's like vibey. Yeah, it's a vibey place. And the cocktails there are hectic. Yeah, no, okay. Tai Batong. Tai Batong, yeah. Check it out. Near Mali. No, no. Is it like near Mali Bar? Um I don't know how to describe it. Nah, it's towards the other end. Oh, like near bank and stuff. Yeah, like that. Oh. That's not bad. I've never seen it. Never? No. Nah. I reckon no, you hundred percent you walked past it. But like just never been in. Is there toddies in Newtown? Or no, there's no toddies in Newtown. I've always said. No, I've there's, always thought toddies in Bondi in the city that I know of. There might be another one in Newtown. Doing a quick search. The one in Bondi is yeah, it's pretty good. But as a fellow Italian, I don't like to get Italian out when I go to these places. You know, I just get it at home for free. Yeah, yeah. It's here, just here we go. Other locations. Other locations. Click it. Why do I always think there's a toddies? Is there an is there an Italian restaurant in Newtown, yeah. Oh, that's the Italian Italian bowl. bowl. Yes, that's not bad. You always get the mixed up. All right, so they got bar toddies in the CBD. Yeah, toddies Bondi and Rizel. Is that it? I think that's the main ones. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, and they got one at the new stadium, and they got one at the footy. Uh, I didn't see it though when I went. Anyway, you didn't see it? No, we'll get to that. But um, what'd you do on the weekend? You know what I did. I know. You're what baiting you did. me. I know what you did. I just want to know. I just want to hear it. Uh, you guys First probably hand. saw on the Instagram that I completed my Macis challenge. Um, yeah, well done. It's one of these sound effects that might. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Anyway, well done. Well done. Well done. Um, talk me through it. Like, talk me about the, the day before. So, I knew it was coming up. I knew it would be a Saturday, that Saturday specifically. Yep. Um, I just wanted to get over and done with. Mm. I'll tell you, I thought I'd be ready for this thing. This thing's a motherfucker. It got me. It got, got me good? good. Yeah. Like Were you just good. hyping yourself up all week? Well, I'm normally a big eater, as you know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But when the day before I, I went out for drinks and I, it wasn't part of my plan, I was like, oh, I'll have a few drinks. Yeah. Then it got to like six o'clock and I was meant to be starved from like 12, but I was still drinking. Were so, you eating? Well, then I had sushi train. So nah, it was a bit you, of right. I fucked it there. You're done. But 
then I didn't eat. I was starving. Woke up. Yeah. Starving. It probably got to Macca's at 9.30. Yeah. I chose Macca's mascot near the airport because I yeah. just thought, comfy chairs, that's it. I'm just going to go there and rip and tear. Yeah. I did. For the first, you saw the videos in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I did third in 30 minutes, I ate eight cheeseburgers. Whole. I don't know how. That was, I think by the first five, flew down. Well, like, you, just, you were just smashing oh, them. Oh, like, um, like the first three, if you look at the timestamps of the video, went within the first five minutes. Yeah. Because yeah. they just, they Macca's put some little chemicals and enzymes and shit in there to make yeah. it digest quicker in your mouth. So it yeah. goes in your belly quicker and doesn't register you hungry. Yeah. So I knew that game plan. I was like, I'm just going to eat as many as I can, scoff them down. Mm. So I probably had five in the first 30 and then... That six, seven, and eight burger. Yeah, I knew I was fucked. I was like, oh no. <laughs> so then the next thirty minutes was three burgers. That's how slow it went. It was like ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes. Yeah, and that was just slow, like chewing, getting it down. Just trying to get it down. Yeah. So I got eight down. And I was like, oh boy, I'm fucked. Because it's a sixteen hours at Macca's. Yeah. But for every burger you eat, one hour off. Yeah. So yeah. I was I had an hour of sitting there mm. by myself. Eight, eight cheeseburgers, so yep. that's nine. I still had seven hours left yeah, at Macca's. Fucked. And then I knew swans were on at midday. I was like, I have to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So then for two hours, I did not eat. I could not eat. I, just, I was proper fucked. Did, like, you know, like, did you have to like go bathroom? Oh, I had to, yeah. But the problem was I was like, I had my laptop, I had my phone charged. Every time I had to go to the toilet, I had to pack it all back up. Pack it up, pack oh it up, pack it up. Oh, my God. It just got so frustrating. Anyway, Yeah. after like two hours, I was watching movies, I would... Dead set looking at me. What movie did you watch? I watched Nope. It wasn't that good. Oh, is, you watched it at Macca's? At Macca's, yeah. And like, there was a bit of jump scares and stuff. So I'm just there with my headphones. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you didn't give the staff the heads up you were going to stay there? Oh, just in case they're like, bro, you can't do that here. Go to <laughs> go to Macca's Kingsford or something. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> sorry, mate. You can't stay. <laughs> nah, sorry, bro. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so then I was like, all right, fuck it. You know what? I'm going to eat it. But then yeah. I fucked up on the next two. So for burgers nine and ten, yeah, I was like, you know what? I'll try and like rot this in my own way. Oh, yeah. So I did it. The cheeseburger, yeah. I got rid of no sauce, no pickles, and instead of a normal bun, I got a steamed bun. So it was softer. Just to try, just to just to like scam the system, like oh less calories, you know, yeah, less yeah, chewing, yeah. and a softer bun. Surely that just goes straight down yeah. the throat. Mate, I fucked it. This was the driest burger <laughs> I've ate in my whole life. <laughs> like yeah. oh burger nine and ten was just like 30 minutes just them two just slow bites yeah and i felt sick by then it was were like, they like looking at you were people looking or not the thing was people were coming in and out so they didn't yeah, know yeah. how long i've been there I was oh, just okay. some weirdo in the corner but then yeah the mac is workers oh fucking no there was some doing the morning shift and they'd see me at like 1 p.m in the arvo <laughs> so yeah anyway long long story short yeah i we got to the last burger and I had one hour left. I was like, just get the burger, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. The last burger was easy because I was like, yeah, this is it. Was it the same server that was just serving you the, the cheeseburgers? Or was yeah. It? I, know, I did table service as well. And she, so she, this person would just bring them out. Yeah. So it was like, oh, four cheeseburgers, here you go. And then she come back, another four, another <laughs> two. She's like, I don't know. I got a. You didn't I, say anything. I got she a didn't sprite say anything. at one point. I was like, oh, I just need something fizzy. Not the Macca Sprite, man. The Macca Sprite. I went on about last week. It's class. Anyway, I w went out of there, went home. It was my sister's birthday, birthday party. Yeah. And I was fucked. My stomach was like a turtle's shell. Yeah. Just yeah. rock hard. It's all bloated as. Bloated. It was throbbing. That's so fine. I weighed myself before and after. Yeah. How much, how, many, how much do you reckon I put on? How much do you normally? No, it doesn't matter. Just how many calories do you reckon I put on? Uh, six. Six? You stupid. <laughs> six. Is that too much? <laughs> it's fucking too much. <laughs> 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 Why 11 burgers? You reckon they're like <laughs> 600 grams of burger? <laughs> yeah, fuck. Nah, you fucked it. <laughs> well, now it doesn't matter what I say because it's less. <laughs> Three. No. <Nah. laughs> 1.7 kilos. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I thought it was like fucked. Yeah, but you don't weigh yourself on the daily, so you don't you don't care about weight. You don't know about it. Yeah, one point seven's fucked. Okay. Nah, yeah, yeah, I can't explain <laughs> it. Yeah. Anyway, literally, my stomach was just pumped. Couldn't yeah, sleep. I, I went to sleep mm. during the day for an hour. Hectic well, when sleep. you got home, yeah, like full blackout sleep. I thought, yeah, I thought I dead set slept mm. through the whole night. I woke up and I was like, oh fuck, like it's Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah. I was like one hour. 
These burgers fucked me up so much. I almost put me in a coma. In <laughs> yeah. Had a, I had a Ronald McDonald coma. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I was watching South and my stomach was just yeah. like. It was the party was going on, wasn't party it? Party was going on, and the worst part was Adrian put the post up on Instagram of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every person that walked through the door goes, "Oh, hey, Michael, how, how was how was the Maccas?" Oh my god! Yeah, how do you think it fucking was? <laughs> That's fuck. That's rough. It was rough, and yeah. So I obviously didn't get to do anything that night. What about you guys? What did you do that night? Seeing you um, pretty late. Yeah, no, it was it was a it was a good weekend. We. What do I do on Saturday? Played a bit, bit of golf on Saturday. With age? No, not with age. With Ebrahim. Oh, yeah. One of our other mates. Who won? Um, I think Ebrahim got me. Hey, you've not won a single golf day on a Saturday. you got to give it up. Nah. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's been a, it's been a while since I've won. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, um, it's just good to get out there. Played a botany. Nice course. Oh, yeah. Short course. Nine holes. And then... I didn't even know. Like I, I didn't even know I was I was going to the game. I thought I was just going to go to yours. Yeah, well, because I messaged. I'm like, oh, what time are you coming? And they're like, bruh, I got a ticket. Yeah, and then like, because Adrian called me and he goes, bro, what are you doing? I was like, oh, nothing, just playing some golf. And he goes, oh, you want to come to the game? And I was like, yeah, sweet. So then, yeah, we got got to the game. Funny story. We're actually on the way to the game because you know how the Swannies were playing mm. um, next door. I think we got to we got to Moore Park and we saw a Swans fan get on get on the light rail mm. so she probably just had enough like and we was like oh fuck's the game over and we checked the score it's half time and they were up by 30 at half time oh. and she's just turned it off so she's, she's just happy with the result she's just left 30 up at half time that's it it's game over anyway and you know how that one ended they only won by one point nail biter. i yeah. didn't watch much afl but that was a class game yeah yeah it was good and then yeah so got to the game new stadium really really nice it's really? a good stadium, isn't it? Yeah. They've done it really good for footy as well. And like the food options, like it's, they got good, like they're all like close to each other, which is good. Oh, and they have like, like we said, toddies there. They have a Mexican I joint. didn't see the toddies joint, no. Oh, maybe it's on the members. We were members. You members, you didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see it's tucked it. tucked away in the corner. Oh, but I think Adrian had dumplings there, whatever. Adrian had the, dumplings. Mate, had the um, stadium dog, stadium hot dog. Five bucks. Five bucks? Five For bucks, a hot dog. yeah, and it was a, it was massive. It was massive as well. Really? So yeah, that was good. Game was good. South one. Yeah, we'll get into that later. We'll get into that. South one, and then so we decided because then we were gonna go to Compass to see, obviously, my sister's birthday party yeah. that I was meant to go to. But yeah, Ronald got me. So then we were like, oh yeah, sweet Compass, Darling Harbour. <laughs> Yeah, on the on the, on, corner the on the one on the corner. Yeah, yeah remember yeah, that yeah. we went to like ages ago. Uh, ages ago. And then we're like, yes, yeah, wait, we're on Uber. We're trying to find Compass, Darling Harbour. It doesn't come up. So we're like, fuck. Well, what's close to the like? What's close to Compass? And we're like, oh, the watershed. So we. Oh just, yeah, it's next door. We Ubered it to the watershed. Get out of the Uber, and we're like walking to the corner, and then it's closed. What? It's just shut. What the Compass on? Darling yeah, Harbour the one on the corner. Is, it's like. Just shut and it looks so like it looks like it's been shut for ages. Anyway, we're like, what? Where is it? So we called up Adrian Susan and she was like, oh, I'll send you my location. And then she sent us through. It was on Pitt Street. How far away is that? It's like a 15 minute walk, but we're like, oh, fuck that. We're not fuck, walking. Fuck walking. Walk, no, we're not walking. So we got an Uber, got to, got there, get straight in. Obviously, we just said, oh, yeah, we're in the guest list, blah, blah, blah. Get in. Yeah, that's, that'd be 46 bucks. 46 bucks? $46. 46 Yeah. Me and Age looked at each other, we're like... What time was this? This was like maybe 11, 11 maybe? Nah, fuck that, go home. I mean, 10, 30, 11, anyway. We looked at each other, we're like, like do you want it? And it's like, fuck, we got to show our face. And then we, we did it, got in there, fucking... And then your sister just left. Yeah. Showed away. She, she, was, was, she was home before 12. Yeah, she just left and we're like... We're okay. So then we're like, no, we have to get a drink here. So I got a drink there, bit of a boogie. And then um, we went to Cliff Dive after. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's always busy. Big line. Really? Big line. Like fucking up to like the stairs. How long were you in line for? Well, we were, well, I don't know. I don't know how long we were in line for, but obviously we're there to see, uh, to see the girl that I'm saying. You're seeing a new girl. Not new girl, I was just saying a girl. Oh, yeah, a girl. That not baby girl. Not baby girl, no. Baby girl's done. Yeah, that was done a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, Do we get to know this new girl's name this time? Yeah, she's, she'll actually be listening 
and she actually wanted a shout out. So shout out to Katie. Um, Katie with a C or K? With a K. Yeah, that's better. That's better. No, not with a C. Katie with a C is just not it. That's a red flag. Yeah, it is a red flag. Bit of Nick. It's a bit of Nick. Mate, well done. You're saying her name on the podcast must mean something. Well, she wanted, like, she just, ever since she found out I had a podcast, she just wanted a shout out. Is that your opening line? The podcast? Nah, it's not. Does it even work? You know, I didn't even bring up the podcast with her. And then. was it? Who do you think it was? Adrian loves that. When Pesticide. We're, huh? Pesticide age. Every time we're out, he loves pulling that out. It's like when someone says, oh, what do you guys do? <sighs> oh, yeah, we have a podcast. He loves that line when we're out. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we just waited and then we got in. And then, yeah, no, it was all right, Cliff Dive. It's different. It's a different vibe. Way Cliff, different vibe. Like not, not your typical like Beach Road or Could You Bay or whatever. Very, very different crowd and stuff yeah but fun? it was yeah it was good fun what time are you there till no idea but i think we left estimation maybe two three o'clock so it's late it's late and then we got a kebab got some <laughs> as food, you do as you do and you i was wait back to a prior episode is it better than a maccas after a night out a kebab no nah, i think maccas maccas kebab. kebab's too miss- messy isn't it it's hit and miss sometimes yeah. it's like like slaps and then the other times it's just shit Depends like where this, you go as Yeah well. I know And like we were in Oxford Street And this one was just so dingy Like it was shit Was it busy? Yeah it was busy When they're busy They got fucking no idea Yeah yeah They just put whatever's in that Mix yeah, it all up Yeah exactly So then I was ready for bed at this point And then we I don't know They decided Because yeah Katie was with all her friends um, And they were They wanted to go back to hers Or whatever And keep drinking And me and Age were ready for bed Anyway We decided to go And then we just chilling there and then I think you got to like, f- I don't know, 5, 5.30. 5, 30 in the morning. Oh. The sun came out and then Age gets up and he's like, nah, fuck this. I'm going. <laughs> I should have said that ages I ago. I know, I know. And then, um, yeah, so everyone just left and then that was it. Wow. Fair play. But um, yeah, it was you know, all in all, it was, it was a good night. It was fun. We got um got noticed at the footy. Did you? Yeah, a couple of times actually. Oh my god, it's a castle trial. Nah, <laughs> stop. Pull yeah. my leg. It's pretty good. It's pretty Dead good, line. yeah. So But they're like, oh, where's Mick? Yeah, they're like, oh, where's the third one? And they're like, oh, he's sick. <laughs> 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 he's crook. He's with Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, So yeah, no, that was a late with, one. It was a late one. Yeah. I was trying to message you guys on Sunday and then you guys weren't responding. Yeah, and I was late. I was like, stop it. <laughs> if it wasn't for the public holiday Thursday, I'd be cooked. <sighs> Need that. And like yeah. I, I've, I've like missed a full day of sleep. I just need to make make. You're up. just waiting for Thursday to come, just sleep. to like make it up. Yeah, right. That makes sense. Yeah, but yeah. What, what what a game though. Great game. What, were you going for Seas or Sharks? I was going for Seas. Had to had to go for Seas. I knew I was. You couldn't be more confident. I think. Yeah, I knew we were going to roll over Sharks. Yeah, like I just Sharks had enough. Sharks weren't it. They they got uh, conceded seventy points in the last. Two weeks, so both finals games. Yeah, seventy in finals. Yeah, no. Are you kidding? And What's against the point of playing against South, attacks hot. Yeah, the thing with South, they're scary. Like they finished seventh, but they've got Trell, yeah, Murray, Cook, like Campbell, Campbell, yeah. Throw in like Keon Kalomatangi and stuff. Arrow. Alex Johnson, Arrow. Like they have all these great players, and you're like, fuck. Like most of them play Origin or represent. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. So. I don't know. Scary for Penrith this week. Look, if if anyone can beat Penrith, I think it's going to be you guys. You know they've ended our finals campaign the last two years. In a they row. have, haven't they? Well, they hit grand final lost in the year before. Yeah, we lost to them. It doesn't help that they beat you without Cleary and Luai. I know. And now they've got like a week off. They're fresh. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. South, it's at a core stadium, so it's at our second home. But it's Panthers' is home game, yeah? Panthers' home game, it's not. But it's not. They're from Penrith. I think the, yeah, I think South fans should travel. No, nah, they always travel, especially for a game like this. Like, it'll be, oh, sorry, I mean, like, yeah, it'll be like a full house. Like, they'll oh, go to the yeah. game. Oh, close to it, yeah. 80,000 is hard to sell out. Oh, it won't be sold out, no, no way. But we close to the pack, close to packed. Yeah. No. How do you, how do you see it going? I think it's hard to go past Penrith. Penrith are fucked. Like, they're just... Yeah, they're just too good. Like, the way Cleary played after five weeks off. Oh, 
And just came back in, just played perfectly. Yeah. I did hear something that they've only played one proper game, like the squad, mm. in tw- like 29 days. Oh, really? So they're not match fitness and then like I did a bit more research. Apparently, they've been getting their New South Wales Cup team. Yeah. And doing full games at the stadium. Oh, like just versing. Like versing each other, flogging each other. Oh, really? Yeah, so their match fitness is up. Yeah, they'll, they'll be ready to go. Oh, they'll be so ready to go. But Trell Mitt, bruh. Trell Mitt. He's, he's so good. Yeah. But you, I don't know. Like, it's weird because, like, during the game, he doesn't do a lot. No. Nah, he, he doesn't do the he hard, like, like, work during the game. He just sort of – he only did, like, but 66 it's like, metres. It's like his presence. I don't know. Like, oh. just him in the game. I think he does a lot of passing as well. At the, oh, at yeah. the back – you see him coming and then he draws pro two defenders, so it yeah. leaves the space on the wings. Yeah, that, that cutout that he does to the winger, it's just... To like Johnston or... Or Milne. Milne. Yeah. Milne played real well. He I did. Think, no? no, he did. I think he he had to after what he did against the Roosters, like what, Simbin yeah. twice or whatever. Yeah, he probably had to make up for it. Yeah, yeah. Is it a few injuries though this week for you guys? Yeah, so apparently Havili's 100% ruled out. Yep. Which is sad because we hype him up every week. On I, love, I love Avili. Avili's gun. Yeah, he's good. Um, Arrow's apparently going to play. Reg- um, In the middle? Yeah, uh, on the edge. Oh, on the edge, yeah. And oh. then Alex Johnson's 50-50, but I think he'll be playing. Did he get named? Yeah, he got named. Okay. But if he doesn't play, it's going to be Mansour. Mansour? Yeah, Mansour. Not Paulo? No, not Paulo. Paulo didn't even get named in the 21. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, Souths at training today have been getting the NFL kicking thing. And putting it straight up in the air, trying to get ready for Cleary. Oh, shit. Yeah. The spirals. They've just been putting it up. So Mansell's been under it, Johnson. They're trying to just oh, defuse yeah. that bomb. It's ridiculous. Yeah, no, it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, well, you never know. Like, if Penrith don't show up, it's one game. It's tough. Like, look at last year, Melbourne Storm with a minor prems. Mm. Won that first week over Manly. Yeah. Got to that game versus Penrith and lost. Yeah, they just didn't click on the day. That's it. It's, it's, shit happens. It's one game. Like if they, you know, if they have a shit game and you guys are on, then if you if you beat Panthers, you'll win the grand final. Oh, I think I think the winner comes from the left side of the draw. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Which is Penrith and Souths. Yeah. Um, what about the other game, Eels Raiders? Did you watch that? I did. That was a flogging. Very disappointing, the Raiders. I know, 40 points in a final. I don't know, that first half was so, like, they were just so, so they were so shit. Like, they just kept dropping the ball. <laughs> Say it how it is. They were so shit. Like, they dropped the ball and, like, the thing with Para, like, they they made them pay. They made the Raiders pay oh, for those errors. Every time. Every time they made an error, they'd score straight off yeah. the back of it. and that doesn't help. But I thought they were going to come back maybe in the second half, but I think Para were just too good. All right. Makes me, makes me worried. dangerous, to be honest. It makes me worried for this this Friday, but like you don't know what you're going to get with Parramatta. They've got all the momentum, I reckon. But like you just don't know. Like they'll they'll play like that against the Raiders, and then they'll just play shit out. Very inconsistent, eh? The week after, you like just don't know. Throughout the year, when they'd go and beat Penrith, and the week after they lose to West Tigers, something like that. Yeah. It's like what? How? Yeah. So I do. I do have a little bit of a soft spot for Para. Like, I, I like their, their spine. Yeah. Like, Moses, Brown, Marnie. Yeah, and the forward pack's good. We spoke about their forward pack. It's strong. They're all strong. Yeah. Middle. And yeah. I think if... Versus Cowboys this week, how do you see it going? Obviously, you're oh, a Cowboys... Sport. Obviously, I want the Cowboys to win. Like, I'm worried, but I just think with the week off, Townsville, you know, it's... Well rested. Yeah, rested. Like, sold out Townsville My prelim. My concern with you guys is that first game versus Sharks... You guys almost lost to the Sharks. Yeah, yeah. And you've seen what South done to Sharks. Mm. You know, like, maybe Cowboys and Sharks sort of hit their level now. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't know. Like, I think we'll see. I think if we, you know, play – if we just start well, I think that's, that's – I think that's Because you guys finish well every week. But just your start, yeah. every time you're down by a bit, you're just chasing the whole game. Oh, we always, can't, always, we always. can't let Para get on top of us like how they did against the Raiders. Because Para can defend the game. They're, they're, they're like, grubby like that. Because when Para, like, score, like, they'll start, they can start putting points on. So, yeah, no, it'll be a good game. I'm nervous, but I think – like I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm confident that we'll win. I think the week off is massive. In it the is massive, yeah. Like your your whole squad's been rested for more than seven days. Mm. All the little niggling injuries have recovered. Yeah, Parra have been 
busted up by Penrith that first game. Yeah. Obviously, beat Raiders. Still tough. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two injuries in that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd be, I'd be worried. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I am worried, but, but um, Townsville's a different story. Yeah, Townsville sold out. No, it'll be, it'll be a good game. I'm looking forward to it. And then, yeah, hopefully, Cowboys South Grand Final will be nice. That would break this body in half. That would be, yeah, that would be very nice. It'd be winners and big losers. Yeah, Grand Final. We do another bet for that. No yeah. unicorns costumes this time. <laughs> no costumes at all. So how do you see this week going? Cowboys versus Eels. I go Cowboys. Yeah, I go Cowboys too. And then, but I'm not 100 percent on them. Oh, I'll be. I'm, I'm confident. Oh, that yeah, scares me. And then Penrith South. As much as I want South to win, I just I can't see them beating Penrith. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm about the same. I'm just looking at it through a biased South Sydney perspective. Yeah, like... It's, it's tough to look outside of it, but then everyone just forgets how good Penrith are because they yeah. haven't... They've just been cruising at the top. Yeah. No one takes notice. Yeah. Whereas these guys, they want back-to-back. They want the dynasty. Mm. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to say Penrith probably win, but if South, if South do win, I'm not shocked at all. No, like yeah. If South beat if, if South beat Penrith, I'll, I'll be like, oh, okay. Like. Well, I think out of all those teams in finals, like South out of the, the remaining three, yeah. were the only best chance of beating Penrith. Let's say in a finals game. Yeah. Do you reckon this is Parra's best chance to get to a grand final? Yeah, I I think so. I've, because someone's asked it in the listener question, but we can ask it now. It's oh, at yes. I'm underscore Ben O seven. Yeah. He wants to know: Does Parra's premiership window close next year? And Ben, oh, I, I think it does. Well, I think it closed this year. No, it like, closed like, you know I mean, like this is their last chance. Oh, to win. yeah, ne- yeah. Next year it's shut. Yeah, Because yeah. they lose Reed Marnie, yep. who's up there, spine, their, part of their spine in the hooker position. He's been very important in getting the ball rolling with the forwards. Yep. And then they lose Isaiah Papali'i. Yep, they Who's do. been probably the, one of the best second, if not the best second roller the last two years. Yeah. Since he sort of made that second row spot. Is he going. leaving still or is he back flipping? I've heard so many different things. He hasn't... When they've asked him in interviews and stuff, he's just kept it heaps hush. Like, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, because they said, oh, you're moving? And he goes, oh, I'll reveal after the season. It's like... Yeah. If if you signed with the team, like, surely you're... Yeah. Surely you just say, yeah, I'm going. Stop the speculation. Yeah. But you don't know. I've heard things that apparently he's agreed with the Warriors. Oh, Warriors? Apparently, yeah. I thought he already signed with the Tigers. But apparently, like, he can backflip some for some reason. Okay. But even then, like, would you want a player to play at your club that obviously does not want to be there? So, yeah. But I don't know. If, if I was him, I'd be coming out just getting it over and done with. Maybe it's a ploy for the finals to take the distraction off a bit of para. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I think he ends up at Tigers. I think he's just yeah, I think he's just going to go to Tigers. Yeah. yeah. He wants to play at Madge or something like that. Who knows? Yeah, it could be. But um, the Swannies? Oh, how good was that? Grand final? Was it packed when you guys were getting to the stadium? No, nah, because I think the game was still going. It went on. It was a long game. Did you watch it at all? Like a, a little bit of it. Like Mate, it was a, it was a good game. Um, They were up by like 30. And yeah, the, yeah. And that, Collingwood, they're tough. But they just coming back? They just keep coming back. They're like the Storm. They're just, just relentless. Yeah. Like you're never going to beat the Storm by a big margin. Yeah. They, just, they kept coming. Anyway, it got to the final quarter. Yeah. In the last dying minutes, it could have gone either way. Mm. And they were like scrambling around what they called the ruck or some shit in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it went out for a behind and it was like one point. And they just had to hang on. And Sydney milked the clock pretty well. Um, yeah, I think, what's that? This Saturday, this Saturday 2, 2 p.m.? Yeah. How good are Melbourne? They get the Friday off. Yeah. In, so, in Victoria, they get so the Friday yeah, four, off. Four day weekend. Well, now with the Queen's morning on Thursday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but they get Friday off every single year before the grand final. Yeah. They're like, oh no, we got to prepare for this grand final. It's going to be good. <sighs> That's good. Do you reckon a lot of people did the, 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 the triple threat on Saturday? They went races, ran week, into the AFL, into the footy. Oh, you'd be steaming after it. You'd have to get up on the punt or else you just, you're, in for, you're in for a rough day. <sighs> Imagine if you were like a shark supporter and you lost on the punt. You're a shark supporter and then yeah, you go watch the Swans win and then you quickly run across. Now, for some reason, you go for Collingwood. Yeah, <laughs> for whatever reason you go for Collingwood. And then do you reckon like after the footy they go Star Casino, try their luck again? No, I think they'll go out. I think they go out. Lift dive, 40, 
Oh no, it's Compass forty six dollar entry. Compass forty six dollar entry, That's and then fucked. yeah, but no, that that would have been a rough, rough, rough day. Yeah, I reckon there would have been people that have done the three. Because when we were like, the game started for South, and there were people piling in still from next door. Like they had their Swans jerseys or Collingwood jerseys. Like they were still coming in. They were still going. Yeah, because it didn't look sold out at all. Like when it kicked off, but then it just piled. Like people just kept piling in. To be fair, like I. I, I did the triple thread on my couch. So I could definitely see people doing it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, you're just watching everything. Um, quickly about the horses. What about mm. Nature Strip? Yeah. What a freak. Best sprinter in the world. Going to win the Everest for sure? Yeah, maybe. If it gets that um, on the rail gate. Is that, is yeah, it I don't know. Like, it's too early to tell, I think. But I think the way it's going, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't he? Best sprinter in the world. Put him to the sword first up, and he's usually not good first up. So, was, yeah, he's usually the grand final horse. So, in for a big campaign, then let's hope he is money maker. And shout out to Manny, um, as much as it hurts Manny the funny, Manny the funny. He's <laughs> he got his bet. I think it was like South minus three and a half, and then he picked two goal scorers in the AFL on the Brisbane versus Gary Day. Gary Rowan and Eric Kipwood. Yep, he got it. Look, and he's on fire, Manny. We do the best bets every week on Instagram where we pick our. Best bet each, and we do yeah. the re- return investment calculation. So you're first at the minute. Yeah. I think you're maybe the only one in positive. I think Togue's just, like, I think he's like maybe 2% yeah. positive, but everyone else is gone. Oh, mate, it's been tough because the 18th man, Ayan came in, did four in a row, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember, context 18th man had lost 11 in a row. Yeah. And it was a curse. It was a curse, and they started to get a little bit of luck. And we had NRL Don, random stats guy, they won. And then. Yeah. Ayan came in one four in a row. Mm. And fucking Manny's come in with two big winners, five bucks and four bucks, something yeah. like that. And he's gone he's so gonna now, go all so out. So eighteenth man are into third place. Yeah. They, mate, the race only, for the spoon's good. There's only two more weekends left though. Yeah. Because we're resetting at, at the NRL grand finals. Yeah. So all our stats go back to zero and then the winner with the most return on investment gets season one champion. So you Bragging want that title. Rights, if yeah. 18th man wins the fucking nah, no title off us, that'd be so devastating. Just try and, st- try and play safe the next two weeks. Yeah. If I lose this week, I'm in the sin bin. So I can't even tip on the last week to save myself. <laughs> You're done. I'm done. So I might, I might go really safe this week. Yeah. Um, yeah, so follow us on Instagram at the Cast Patrol if you want to get some free tips every week. Free tips. Um, not, not guaranteed to provide any return as our percentages show. Yeah. But... Free tips, bit of less. It's a bit of fun. <laughs> Jimmy, which betting app did you use this weekend to have a punt? Mick, you wouldn't believe it. What? I found the best betting app to use. Of all time? All time. What's it called? Dabble. Dabble? Dabble, baby. What's so good about it? Mate, the best thing about it is the banter channels. Yeah. And you can copy a 10-leg multi with one click of a button. What? So you're saying that... The Cast Patrol can place a bet just by clicking copy. Ten legger. Copy bet. Boom. Put your stake in. Off you go. That sounds easy. Well, if you want to use double like us at the Cast Patrol, there's two easy ways you can do it. You want to know what they are, Jim? Tell me. Look, you can use the show notes. Click the link below. Or when signing up to double by searching in the app store, use the code Cast Patrol. Mate, you know what happens when you enter the code Cast Patrol? You get on double. Exactly. You know, you know what else? Follow us at the Cast Patrol for daily tips and all the best sporting bets. And as always, gamble responsibly. But um, <laughs> cast character of the week this week. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Who else? It, it had to be me. Is that a record? You got two. I'm I'm two now. Two cast characters of the week. But Adrian was close. Five thirty a.m. Yeah, Adrian's close. At your new Mrs. house. <laughs> Take it easy. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, 5.30 a.m., just cruising with us. Yeah, no, he, uh, he was close, but yeah, no, the, no, ma- the, the Mac is. The Mac is. It was by default. Whoever missing, the out not, missing out on a night out. Yeah. Just, it was just tough. And then, yeah, you're probably just hating it. Before yeah. I end on the Mac is and close it off for good, I, sw- I had not sleep. I slept at 10 p.m., mm. woke up at like 9, 9.30 it's like the best sleep I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up, I was like, oh, fuck. I'm full refreshed. But the next morning, <laughs> mate. Stomach cool. was gone. Mate, stomach's fucked. I reckon I'm still shitting out the Maccas today. 
That's fucked. It's shit. Anyway. Anyway. Let's move on to something that's not shit. Playing or penalty. Love it. Here we go. For this week, playing or penalty. Get straight into it. First one is from at Josh underscore Borg one. Mm. Wanking at your mate's house. Have you ever done it at my house? Can't say I have, no. I haven't done it at your house. At Adrian's house, I think. Hey. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> nah. That's fucked. I don't know. Probably not. Nah, probably not. You must be pretty fucked to do that. <laughs> just, I don't know. Like, just, 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 go, just, just go, go home. home. Yeah. Just go home. Lock your door. That's do whatever it. the fuck you want. How, we, well, everyone's just at the house and where you just duck, duck into the bathroom. Imagine you got caught by like your, your mate's dad or something. How do you explain that? Just duck into the bathroom. Have a no, quick one. Stop. No, that's a penalty. No, you're not doing that. So that's a big penalty. That's a penalty. If you get caught, I reckon you're permanently banned from the house. You yeah. don't come back. That's so bad. You don't come back from that. No, How do you so come bad. back from that? You just no, you, no, can't. you just leave and then that's it. I will say though, fuck you. There's people out there that have done it. A hundred percent, they lock, have. Lock everything on it. They've done it. Yeah. If you have, reach out and tell us why the fuck you've done that. Or just reach out and tell us a story. Yeah. Of why don't you just go home? And then say why the fuck you did it as well. Like how desperate are you? <laughs> I don't know. You lost yeah, like, but yeah. Anyway, he lost we won't get into penalty. it. Penalty. Penalty. Next one is. Um, Paying over forty dollars to get into a nightclub, thanks, Compass. Well, you guys did it, so play on. Yeah, but that was just like to be nice, just to show our face at like the birthday. But like voluntarily paying, like let's say, you was get, it a good club inside? No it was shit. Oh, penalty then. Yeah, if it's a shit joint, it depends. Sometimes you get these places like Chinese Laundry and stuff, where like it's it's like yeah, an event club. Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like or um, what's the one in in the casino? They marquee, it, like, marquee. Like you can pay over sometimes for that. Yeah, but just for a regular club with just a, a normal mm. regular DJ, nah, penalty. Yeah, that's fucked. Forty six bucks. That's like well, I say forty bucks, four drinks. Mm, sometimes not even. Sometimes it's like three drinks. Three drinks. Yeah. Yeah. But like that's three drinks. Like, nah. So nah. It just it's lit and then imagine you go from there to another like did you play entry at the other place? Cliff Dive? Yeah. Twenty bucks. So you spent just sixty six bucks on entry alone. Yeah. That's plus yeah. the Ubers. Ubers you, like let just buy close it. to a hundred bucks. Yeah, just just to get in and travel. Mm. Nah, that's fucked. Yeah, that penalty. was fucked. I felt so sick after, but yeah. No, nah, penalty. Um next one at RJ McLean, shitting in your mate's bathtub and blaming <laughs> someone else. <laughs> Oh, oh he's, a, he's a good question. He's a sick, he's he's done he, it on, he's a sick cat. Isn't he's he? a sick cat. He's done it on purpose. Have I told you the story? What happened with what? Me, me and Roddy sitting, shitting in a mate's bathtub? No, no, it's not. It's not what you think. Anyway, so I've gone for work, work drinks like so for him with him and his mates. Yeah, uh, and I've met them all before. Mm. Um, but specifically, you know, Rudd and Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. They, they used to live in Bondi. Yeah. And I've been to their house in Bondi before. And I'm like, oh, this is pretty good. Um, close <laughs> to home, not too far. Yeah. So then after the night out, I think it got really late, probably like the Adrian hours of the morning. <laughs> and we're yeah. like, oh, let's go back to the house. Yeah. So I've gone to the Uber and obviously I'm like passed down the Uber, tired, not paying yeah. attention. Yeah. So we're at their house in Bondi. Mm-hmm. And then I must have crashed out on their lounge. Yeah. So I've woken up the next morning and I've looked around and I'm going, this is not, this is not their fucking house. <laughs> what? I go, this, this is not their Bondi house. Oh, okay. But Rudd's in the room sleeping and I'm like, okay. Yeah. Hang on a minute. So I've like looked around and I'm like, where am I? I've looked at my phone, phone's dead. So you're fucked. I'm fucked. So yeah. I had to, I'm hung over and just, just crawling on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Plug the phone in. I'm like, I finally get my phone on. Mm. Google Maps, I'm in, I'm in Manly. I'm over the bridge. What, Manly? Appa- oh, apparently, s- since since I last been to their house in Mondo, they moved they to the moved. North, yeah, yeah, they, to Northern Beaches. Yeah. So I was fucked. I was like, oh, fuck. So you're going across the bridge, Manly? So, uh, I'm in Manly. I'm like, this is fucked. I'm like, all right, I got to piss. <laughs> so I've gone to the toilet <laughs> and their bathroom was relatively small. You yeah. Know, so imagine you walk in, there's a bathtub as soon as you walk in. Yeah. And on the right, there's a sink. And on the other right, there is a toilet. Yeah. So I've walked in. 
pissing and I'm going, <laughs> what the fuck's that? <laughs> <laughs> I've gone, what the fuck? I'm looking at the toilet, there's nothing there. <laughs> I turn around yeah. and I'm not fucking lying to you, it was the biggest shit I have ever seen <laughs> in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Mate I'm talking like oh, What can I put in comparison Like Like fucked mate, Like it just long <laughs> Just one Probably like the fucking hot dog Just like, one Just one It was a big fucking long one Just a log Just a, like a big cucumber or eggplant or something Yeah yeah Just in the bathtub <laughs> Come on What the fuck's this So yeah. There was the two people that lived there Mike and Rudd mm. They've obviously not shut in their own fucking bathtub. Yeah. And it was me and a guy called Dole. I've never met this bloke Dole before. Dole, yeah, okay. But if you ever seen him, he looks like a fucking dog that would shit in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> so it was him. Fucking oath was him. I didn't shit in this bathtub. My asshole couldn't produce something yeah. that big. Not even after 11 That's cheeseburgers so and massive. Did he admit it? Or? No, I never admitted it. And this is the problem because now those two don't know who to believe. They think it's me. Well, they think it's... Him, they, they, they can't decide. I'm like, I'm telling you. So I took a photo of it <laughs> and I've gone to Roddy's house who's asked the question. Yeah. And I've just shown him and we have dead set laughed on the couch for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll that's show so you a good. photo after the yeah. show. But it, yeah, that's why he's asked the question. Uh -huh. It's a play on penalty. penalty. Yeah. That, that was the worst smell I've ever smelt ever. Yeah, that's a penalty. <laughs> um, all right, next. Oh, last one for this week is the Live Golf. LIV? LIV Golf. You know what LIV is? I do. You say it. 40, it's 54 holes. 54 holes. It's yeah. 54 in Roman numerals. Smart, bro. So, yeah, 54 holes. Because they only play 54 holes. So good. Cam Smith's top of it now. Yeah, he won. Right at the minute. He won the first tournament. But, um. What are your thoughts on LIV Golf? Play on. I think if they're just throwing, and my opinions on this have changed. Like, before I wasn't a fan of it, but now when you think about it, like, the amount of money that they're throwing at these golfers, especially the young golfers like Cameron Smith, like you'd be stupid not to. Even like the veterans, like you know, the ones that are just mm. sort of, you know, not winning much, not winning many tournaments. Like you just go. You got to remember, like these guys playing sport. As much as it is, you want to win accolades and everything. Yeah, it's it's a business and it's a job. And like Cam Smith getting offered that ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Like you got to take it. You just you have to and. I was like you. I didn't understand LIV golf. I was like, yeah, yeah. what is going on here? Mm. Now I was like, oh, you know what? If these guys want to take the money and then sacrifice not playing in the PGA, the PGAs, yeah. are, they, are they majors? They call majors over there? Yeah, well, the PGA Tour, yeah, yeah. The PGA Tour, like that, that's their own loss. Like they're yeah. choosing money over that, but that's fine. Just let them be. I yeah. think eventually something's going to happen. With yeah, them. I think so. They'll be able to play in both tournaments. and Because the, the money will have to drop down. Mm. It's just money now because they're just trying to get Attention yeah, but it's like it. ridiculous But like what was it Cameron says like 140 million And that's not even Like that's just a play That's a sign on Like just it's just a play, play. Yeah Ridiculous So And like the people That are coming last Like in these Are still making more Than some people That actually like Do really well in the tools Yeah Like they just That's what I mean It's an easy life Crews you get paid You know what he said Cam Smith um, yeah. Why why he was sort of upset With the What did he say He was like I'd be playing in the US and I'd be watching on my stories and photos and yeah. group chats, all the boys at the footy sinking yeah. a few beers. What a true Aussie. Yeah, he just wants, yeah, because I think, yeah, the PGA Tour is like heaps, you know, full on, like, you mm. know, every week, every couple of weeks there's a tournament on. But yeah, with the live golf, I think you got a bit of time off and I think that's what he but wants. Yeah, he wants it. It's not as full on mm. and there's no pressure. If you come Tom. last in the tournament, it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, cool. But, I'll, um, I'll say play on. Play on, yeah, play on. Cool. Anyway. Cool. Now we got some good listener questions this week. Quite a few. So we thank you all for putting your questions in. We couldn't get to most of them. There was Finn Graham, mate. You're fucked. You're actually suspended yeah. for the next four weeks. You asked four of – we thought the guy last week – Who, had who was it? Rick Conti or something. Yeah, Rick, yep. We thought he said some fucked up questions. Mate, you've taken it to a new level. Yeah, Finn, get in the bin, seriously. We did laugh. We had a good laugh about it. We'll tell you that we did laugh and appreciate and we answered them between our group chats. But no, it's not for air. We can't say it. Yeah, we can't say it on air. But if you see us at a pub, shout us a drink. So any, any or just ask us, ask us anything at the we pub. We might have a few loose lips we might tell you. Mm. But for now, no. We're not yeah. telling you. 
Um, yeah, our first question is from at Maury Star, so my dad. Yes. <laughs> Who Murray. has the best and worst jerseys in the NRL? He wants us to pick one each for each one. So you pick a best, I pick a best. You pick a worst, I pick a worst. Okay. Um, best? Well, he's pretty observant with the jersey. I have to say, when we watch the footy games, he always looks at the crowd, and that's how he judges the best jersey. What, what I mean by that is how the jersey looks in the crowd. Okay. So, for instance, South, the red and green. Yeah. When you look in the crowd, it just looks like washed. It doesn't look like – you can't really see fans. You okay, just see yeah. a, a dull, weird colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whereas you look at someone like the Bulldogs, that blue and the white, yeah. you see that the whole stadium. Yeah. Blue and white. Um. So that's that's his criteria. I think the best would probably be maybe the Raiders. That green is that your best? I would say that's the best because, like, yeah, when you look, if if it's like a full house, uh, like the green lights it up, doesn't it? Like the green just all around the stadium. Like I think that looks nice. I I like the Penrith kit, the pink one. Yeah, the pink one's good. The pink one's like, mate, for a team to rock a pink kit, that's pretty good. Yeah, you've done well there. Um, worst kit. I've always been. I've always hated the Titans kit. That kit is shit. Like the light blue one. N- not even like standing out crowd. Just like the the colors together. Just yellow, purple, yeah. blue, yeah, bit of black. I don't know. And they're a shit club as well. Yeah, they're just, they're just Titans. Not I'm not a fan of Manly's jerseys. Yeah, maroon. Yeah, it's not great. It's pretty simple. The other Tigers. Teams. Just get. Just click. Son. Yeah, so we can see it. Yeah, click all teams, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so we got... Um, Warriors have like seven... Oh, Dragons. Seven Dragons are terrible. Dragons? The Red V? It's iconic, but it's not... I reckon your Cowboys have an average kit. No, I think our one this year... I think we used to have some average ones. Yeah. I think this when, you got, when you went Stripes, that was terrible. Yeah. yeah. Oh, n- Sharks, I don't mind. Yeah, Sharks are okay. Sharks are okay because it's... It's the colour of a shark. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. the water and Fair stuff. Enough. I like it. Yeah. Um, so. But best jerseys in the whole entire world. Oh, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. I'm, I like the, I like my NFL jerseys as I'm, as I'm wearing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the uh, Miami Dolphins kit. The Dolphins one's that, good. They got that like aqua, aqua colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stands out for a mile yeah. away. Yeah, that's too hard. Like it's all around the world. Tough one. Yeah, it's like I've got to like sit down and think about it. Well, you're sitting. You have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Good question. Uh, um, next question is is at Rosie underscore for duel. Who is your tip for man of the match in the Panthers versus South game? Uh, Coruscant. Coruscant. It was smoky. Yeah, Coruscant. So I'm gonna do what if. So I think if Penrith win. Yep. I think. Okay, if we're gonna do that, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think Cleary, Cleary's their man. Okay, of the match. yeah, I'm gonna say Coruscant still. Yeah, I think if South win, I think it's a Cody Walker redemption story. Walker from, from last year's grand you know, final. Didn't he throw an intercept against Penrith last time? Yeah, yeah, he, he did. did. Yeah, it's a Stephen Crichton again. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking with with Cody Walker. I think it's his redemption. I think South as well. They're hung. They just they're hungry to beat him again. Yeah. If it's South, yeah, Walker. I'm gonna say Murray. Murray, the captain. He played incredible last week. He's so good. He's so. What about halftime when he shrugs off Fanuke and one of the best tacklers in the league? Yeah, just goes straight through. Nice. Yeah. He's he he's something else. Uh, next question is at Mason McCarthy. Who is the horniest out of you three? This is an easy one. Easy one. He's Adrian. not. He's not here. And we're like, this is not just because he's not here. Like, no, he's genuinely, genuinely, Adrian. I think hundred percent. He's back to that question. When can your mate's house? He would. He's hundred percent done it at both our houses. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I could say that. Fuck, that's bad. I don't want to think about. He's that. not here to defend himself. So sorry, Age, but he definitely did. Yeah, it. he has. He definitely did it. Um, yeah. Next question is at James Nanny Andrew. Mm-hmm. Name two of your favourite horses of all time as well as fan favourites to bet on. <sighs> you bet on too many horses. I've got too many. Favourite horses, hard to, I think one's hard to go past Winx. So, yeah, Winx is my, one of my favourites. I've got a memorabilia in my room. Just every... You didn't appreciate how good Winx was mm. until after she retired. Yeah. It was like, oh my God, nothing was ever dead set other than her. Yeah. 33 wins in a row. Yeah, that's, some, ri- that's ridiculous. Just something ridiculous, and then another one. Ooh, 
I don't know, maybe like Piero. Piero? Piero. An old one? An oldest, an old, older one. I think Nature Strip as well. Just because I had that owner's story. Yeah. When I, snuck I think in. Nature Strip would be my fan favourite to bet on. Like, I just love... You love back in... I love back in the strip. My fan favourite probably to bet on is Very Elegant. I know not so much in France, but... Oh, yeah, when she in, was in here. In Sydney, yeah, anytime yeah. it rains a little bit, oh, Very Elegant's your bet. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah. Last question for this week is at BetSports 2.0. Who do you think Sharks need to sign to go that next step? So, I think a fullback. You think a fullback? Yeah. Will like, Kennedy's just it, like, he's like, good. I'm not bagging Will Kennedy. Like, don't get me wrong, he's a good he's a good footy player. Yeah, up but um, I just don't think. Yeah, I know what you mean because the best teams have the best fullbacks in them. Yeah, like your Latrell Mitchells of the world, Tedesco, uh, Pappenhausen, um, Dylan Edwards. He's still pretty good. Yeah, he he does a lot for them. Um, yeah. So I think I think a fullback's spot on. I I think personally, I know mm. he's had a decent season. Matt Moylan been good, but I think with Nico Hines, you need someone there that knows how to steer a ship a bit better. So you, yeah, okay. So I, what I, you I, play I, Hines five eight? Not even playing five eight. I think you need a five eight that has a bit of control about them. So like like a four on a saying. Yeah, exactly. Like a Kieran four and where. Yeah. He pretty he can steer a ship from fire. He doesn't need the seven on his back. Experience mm. knows what to. Moylan's experience, don't get me wrong, but him and Hines play a very similar game sometimes. Yeah, they do. They're not not the best kickers. They've got a good running game. They always take the ball up to the line. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I, I think they're probably missing one more spine spine member. Yeah, I think so. To get them over the line. Their edge back. Who, who, who's available them. though? Or who would they sign? It's tough. Halves. There's no one out there. Yeah. And all the good halves are. Signed straight up by their team. Would you bring back like Brody Croft or something? He's killing it in the Super League. He's I heard going for the Man of Steel. I mean, it's tough. Like, look at someone like Jackson Hastings, right? Yeah, he's come back and the difference he makes. Yeah, so maybe the, the Super League does add a bit of experience here. Yeah, I think they just uh, for next year. I think they just go have to go at the same team. I, I don't think they have the cap to spend, especially no. when all these players are sort of unearthed, like Talakai. They probably got to extend him. Yeah. In a bit. Royce Hunt, Ueli. All like, the big boppers. Exactly. Like, there's money there <laughs> that's already taken. So, yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, they're a good young team. 5 8 or a fullback. Yeah. You don't need sure. to change both, just one. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I agree. Um. Yeah. So, apparently, this is the part where everyone turns off. This one. The tips of the week. Just before the tip. What? Well, well, Adrian's Adrian's not here this week, so he's not going to do a tip. Wait. Do you hear that? What? You hear something? Oh, no, I can hear it. No, no, no. Hey, guys, I know you thought I wasn't going to have a best bet today, but guess what? We're here, and it's a big one. $10 odds. We're going to start with Kyle Felt the score, into Critter the score, Stephen Crichton, and total points in the South Panthers game under 43.5. So, got some stats to back it up, as always. Kyle Felt has scored 11 tries in his last seven games. As criminal, he's going to score. He scored a hat trick the last time they versed. Lock it in. Stephen Crichton, he loves versing South. Grand final flashbacks I'm getting right now. He's going to score. He scored six of the last six games against South. So he's going to score. He's going to make it seven, unfortunately. But we've got to bet with our head, not our heart. And South, under 43 and a half total points against Panthers. Mate, this game's going to be a cracker. It's going to be low scoring. Max, they'll get to his 40. Yeah, it's going to be a battle. Arm wrestle. And I think it's going to be very low scoring. So get on, guys. $10. Felt any time, cried any time, and then unders for total points. What, well, unders for the South? For 10 bucks, he's gone for that title. He wants the title. Two try scorers in a best bet. I don't like it. Yeah. What's your tip of the week? My tip of the week is if you're going to head to Compass, it's not at Darling <laughs> Harbour. It's on Pitt Street. So don't make the same mistake me and Adrian made. Yeah, don't do that at all. <laughs> I've got a bit of a weird one for you this week. Weird um, one? Yeah, so... You know how James Bond always says martini order, shake and not stirred? Yes. Do you know why it's shake and not stirred? Why? So when when you shake the drink, mm. it causes the ice to melt quicker. So okay. it waters down the alcohol. So Bond, the people theorize that Bond yeah. is such a good double agent that he gets a watered down version of the drink he likes to not seem suspicious. 
So he takes a sip. Yeah. There's not as much alcohol per sip. Yep. So it means that he's always on duty uh, to keep his wits about him, either to defend himself or not give away all the secrets to bartenders or people around. He just needs a drink to maintain his cover. Okay, I can see that. You see that? I can see that. So my tip is, if you want to deceive people, remember, shaken, not stirred. Very nice. Yeah. Is it, have they announced the new James Bond? They haven't, no. Okay. I thought it was going to be Idris Elba. And then oh, is apparently it? that's fallen through. So Tom Hardy apparently been offered the role. He'd be a good James Bond. Give it to Tom. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind them taking a little bit of a break from the James Bond until they can get it right. I don't want to just rush into one. Yeah. Because Daniel Craig's been one of the best in Yeah, one of the best while. ones. It was like um, Batman. Yep. Like when they gave it to Robert, Robert Patterson and everyone was like, nah. Nah. And he killed it. He killed it, that movie. He was very good. Yeah. So. Anyway, that'll do us. I think we're done. Beautiful. Done for another week. Oh, I know. Thanks, well, Mick. And also another tip for you, everyone, if you're still listening at this point, don't set your alarm for Thursday. Remember, it's a yes. public holiday. Public holiday. So by the time you're listening to this, that's either tomorrow or whenever. Yep. So, yeah, don't set your alarms. And we'll be back uh, same time next week. Have a sleep in and, uh, yeah, enjoy your week, guys. Have Catch a good you. one. See Bye. you, guys.